at D-Lab Electronics. This is a follow-up video to the repair of that Nixie clock that I bought from a fellow in Russia. As you know, I had a problem that popped up after about 15 minutes of operation. This fourth tube went nutso, all the elements came on, and the time function of the clock looked very erratic. Well, guess what? She's working. I was able to narrow down the problem. With help from your suggestions and correspondence with Alex, I was able to narrow down the defective component. I replaced it. We're off and running. Let me show you what I did. Well, there's a clock running perfectly. You can see the time is incrementing like it should. The digits all have the same intensity. It's working properly again. I did end up swapping these two tubes around to see if there is a short internally and the problem stayed on slot 4 so I knew there wasn't an issue there getting those out was kind of a challenge I had to desolder these support rods and pull them out and remove the caps wasn't too big of a deal with my Unger iron so after uh, discussing this problem with the builder Alex over there in Russia he said you know he says I took the same fault and was able to simulate it. I guess he has some of that software. He said he shorted out the transistor that I saw the strange voltages on and he was able to duplicate the problem. So I thought, ah, that must be it. So anyway, let me show you what I did underneath and I'll show you the defective part. So in my initial troubleshooting video we verified the voltages on all these NPN transistors found the collector voltage on position number three was down to about 20 volts whereas the other ones were up to about 180 volts okay so obviously that transistor had some type of an issue or something in that circuit was malfunctioning well after getting the information from Alex that he simulated this by shorting that transistor and got the same results I thought okay that transistor must be leaking to verify it I checked the resistances from each pin to ground and compared it to the others and this one was much lower so there was leakage even though my transistor check on my multimeter showed it as good so I removed that surface mount transistor there he is and I replaced it with a standard through hole mount transistor which is a MPSA 42 it's good for 300 volts DC fired it up and the rest is history all right so that was a great feeling seeing this clock working again I sure couldn't send it to Russia for a warranty repair could I so I'm gonna get this thing wrapped up I want to let it cook for a while make sure nothing else pops up I am going to leave that transistor installed it's working perfectly there's plenty of room in there for a leaded component to stand up on the board I appreciate all the input from everybody on this project. It was a lot of fun and now I have something to finally give my son for Christmas. And Alex over there in Russia, man I can't tell you how much I appreciate your prompt response and all the great technical information you gave me. Be nice to meet you someday man. We'll see you guys later.